Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rush Reset. Um, today I'm going to show you three simple ways when I create my pop artwork. Let's get to it. Number one, have a good idea. Uh, my idea for this painting is I'm going to be painting Evita, Eva Peron, the former, well, wife of the president of Argentina. Um, uh, I have this rough idea how I'm going to paint this, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to end up. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to plan too much. And number two, do your research. Okay? Research is so important by, you know, researching your hashtag as far as the look goes. So if you searching pop art, all the images of people that you do your genre, you pop up and you see that what is already been done. Um, maybe you hashtag, in my case, Evita art, then see what is already been done. And to make yourself stand out from the crowd of pop artists, um, you have that knowledge. For example, when you want to paint Evita, you don't even know what color, what background you want to go for, because you just love this image, it's iconic, and the national color of Argentina is white and blue, just like that football team. Um, so therefore, yes, you know, use the color background blue. Um, and I also do this who, what, when, and where and why, the five W's. So do a very simple research, it's everywhere on, on the internet. And so who? Who is Evita? So you read about it, the famous icon. When? When when this happened? Where in Argentina? And why? Why would you want to paint it? Um, the fifth reason to me is most important. Why? Why are you painting this? Um, you know, like I say in my pre previous video that um, don't just paint face. Have this idea to your research and knowledge of, of how you go Make it composing into your art, and that way it will enrich your um, painting more, not just painting face and black and white and colorful background. Shade. Um, and number three, go for it. I already sketched this, you may not be able to see it. Um, now I'm going to paint it. I use this darker shade of blue um, for the background because um, it gives a better look than baby blue with the black and white image. Now I'm going to use the black paint, or oh, just, just a household paint, in fact it's for wood and metal. I'm going to use the dry black effect and plus the blue effect on the negative image of the Vita. This dry brush effect it's very simple. Use as little paint as you possibly can on your brush and treat it like as you would when you use charcoal or pencil when you're drawing, when you smash it with your hand. Um, press harder on your brush when you need shadow to be darker and lighter press to create that 3D shadows effect. Now I'm simply write, writing the lyrics of the song Don't Cry For Me Argentina but in Spanish just do the simple Google translation um, I missed a few sentences but um, hopefully no one will notice uh, unless you're Spanish so just again give the idea of more depth than just the face and now I'm adding um, a very typical logo of, of Instagram, like, love, comment, it's just talk about fame and, and fortune and she's an actress and how she uses it at her best ability, um, so it's uh, again, you know, doing your research then you have more idea of how to approach this and I think it's come across quite well. You'll be the judge.